guys welcome to fab dentist in this video we are going to discuss about non pharmacological behavior management for a pediatric patient so without getting delayed let's get started don't forget to like share and subscribe my video as it motivate me to make more videos now behavior can be managed by non pharmacological means such as communication behavior shaping such as still should do technique desensitization modeling contingency management behavior can also be managed by some of the behavior management techniques such as audio analgesia voice control hypnosis humor coping relaxation aversive conditioning such as home physical restrain now as we have discussed some of the pharmacological non pharmacological mean of behavior management behavior can also be managed by pharmacological means such as pre medication sedatives antihistamines anti anxiety conscious sedations and general anesthesia now how can we managed a behavior of a pediatric patient by communication through communication we can manage a pedo, pedo patient such as by verbal communication such as speech we can communicate to a pedo patient and making him or her feel comfortable for the dental treatment by non verbal communication such as body language smiling eye contact to the pedo patient showing concern to the pedo patient giving him a hug and make him feel comfortable for the treatment giving him a pat for his good his or her good contribution contribution towards the treatment now we can communicate to a pediatric patient by both verbal and non verbal communication now what is desensitization tell show do technique tst given by elder stern in 1959 one of the important important behavior management technique in this each situation or object is introduced progressively to the to the patient to reduce the fear what are the objective of tsd to teach patient important aspect of dental visit and familiarize the patient with dental settings what are the indication for tell show do technique it is applicable for first visit it can be given to a patient above 3 year of the age to a apprehensive child what is modeling it is given by bandura in 1969 it is also one of the important non pharmacological behavior management in this procedure involves allowing a patient to observe one or more individual models who demonstrate appropriate behavior in a particular situation models can be live such as other child present in the operatory film models posters audio visual ad aids what is contingency management what is contingency management method of modifying the behavior of child by presentation or withdrawal of reinforcement this is off there are two types of contingency management positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement what is positive reinforcement in this one whose contingency presentation increases the frequency of behavior means in this we can present something to the child for his good cooperation towards the dental treatment negative reinforcement in this is one whose contingent withdrawal increases the frequency of behavior it means if patient is being uncooperative we will reinforce means we will reinforce the negative reinforcement such as withdrawal of something either will 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 say the parents of a patient to wait outside and tell the patient that if he or she cooperate with the treatment they allow they allow the 
the child's parents to stay in the operatory else they don't allow so th this will increases the frequency of the behavior of a patient and he or she will ready to cooperate for the treatment now aversive conditioning home hand over mouth exercise it is given by dr aversil jordan in 1920 indication it is given to 3 to 6 year of age normal healthy child used for children with sufficient maturity to understand simple verbal commands what are the contraindications very young children immature frightened physically mentally or emotionally handicapped child what are the techniques after determining the child's behavior the dentist firmly places his or her hand over the child's mouth and behavior expectations are calmly explained close to child ear when child's verbal outburst is completely stopped and the child is child indicates his willingness to cooperate the dentist should remove his or her hand once the child cooperate he should be complimented for being quiet and praised for the good behavior it should be noted that the child's airway is not restricted while performing the technique and whole procedure should not last for more than 20 to 30 seconds other variants of hand over mouth exercise are hand over mouth airway unrestricted hand over mouth and nose airway restricted towel held over mouth dry towel held over the mouth and the nose wet towel held over the mouth and the nose physical restraints indications cannot cooperate due to the lack of maturity mental and physically handicapped child other behavior management fails there are types of physical restraints such as oral consist of mouth props tongue blades rubber bite block body consist of triangle triangular sheets pedi wrap extra assistant for extremities posi straps velcro straps towel and tape head head positioners are there plastic bowls are there extra assistance what are audio analgesia also known as white noise the technique for audio analgesia are providing a sound stimulus of such intensity that patient find it difficult to attend anything else biofeedback it involves the use of certain instrument to detect certain physiological process associated with fear thank you hope you liked it please do like share and subscribe as it motivate me to make more videos